Museum of Robots. Bot lays on the ground. He could hang on the wall too. But uh, out here, I was trying to do something a little different. Tipsy Bot. Of course, uh, you can see that she's an inebriated robot. Well, this is uh, represents a robot sitting on a racing car and the racing car he knows has wings so maybe it could fly and um, well Marilyn Monroe robot I've always uh, advertised that she was the world's most beautiful lady robot and um, I call this one Walkbot because uh, most of the robots that I make are very stiff and static. WrestleBot is uh, one of a pair of robots I made that are crouching down as if they're ready to grapple with each other. I'm Clayton. Uh, I'm Clayton Bailey, and I live here on the Carquinez Strait in uh, this beautiful grassy valley near Port Costa. Okay, the, the beginning of the robot process is going to the junkyard and collecting aluminum shapes, whatever they are. But I keep them kind of grouped, glassware, or there's aluminum donuts and rings, for example large size, separated from small size, cones, uh, thermos bottle collection, uh, domes, hemispheres. Now this is one of the earlier human sized robots that I have been making for maybe 25 years. They were inspired originally by jukeboxes. Originally the idea was to have this thing that would stand in your living room and it would entertain you with a little bit of a light show and it would have a tape deck mounted in the chest to play music with speakers under the arms. And this one started out with again with a heater, an old real old time electric heater from your house and some backup lights from a pickup truck and a tea kettle nose and uh, refrigerator compartment. Lava Robot is uh, somewhat of a uh, relative to Grandfather Clock. With a lot of the same components, like the head. The basic head on this is, is like Grandfather Clock. But this one, uh, the entertainment in the chest, is a lava lamp. And it's mounted in front of a curved mirror, so that kind of distorts and amplifies the lava lamp and gives you a little bit more production value. Bungs Bot is another one of those beautiful girl robots like uh, Marilyn Monroe Robot. She's named merely because right on her chest, just above her measuring glass, you can see the word Bungs. Museum of Robots.